Okay, so what are the things you have to keep in mind while designing the dress or the outfit of your cartoons? Okay, so in this video I will tell you about that. At the end of the video I will show you just by changing the dress how the identity of a particular character changes. Okay, so let's go. Hello and welcome to Digital Pastel. My name is Abhik Basu. I am a professional cartoonist and illustrator. In this channel, I share my knowledge and experience regarding cartooning and illustration. So when you are drawing or painting, okay, you are basically telling a story. So as a storyteller, you are not only the writer or the editor, you are the costume designer also. Right. So you are designing the outfit or the dress of your particular character as per the situation. So keep in mind costumes are the integral part of the identity of the characters. For example if you see a person who is wearing a long white coat and he is carrying a stethoscope or an injection you immediately know this person is a doctor. So now I will show you some of the dress as per profession or as per geographical location because many countries have their own national dress and also as per time. For example how people used to dress 300 or 400 years ago and how people uh, dress now so there is a big difference right so I will show you that and also at the end I will show you how the identity of a person changes when the costume or the outfit changes okay so let's go okay now I will show you some of the example that the dress or the costume create the identity of a particular character now the first one is dress as per profession now in this picture as you can see the lady she is wearing a lot of jewelry, a bandana on the head with a loud makeup and crystal bowl. From all these you can clearly guess that she is a fortune teller. So that's her profession and which and that can be easily identifiable with all the accessories and the dress. Now this lady she is a sportswoman. Okay, she is a weightlifter. Now this type of dress is typically worn by either weightlifter or wrestlers. Now this one is dress as per geographical location. Now this cartoon is about recycling of the brain of Albert Einstein. Now this doctor is taking out the brain and people from all over the world is coming to recycle the brain. Now the character which is on the lower right hand side, this Chinese guy and you can easily see that he is wearing a typical Chinese dress. A red shirt, the black pant and a typical Chinese hat and a long ponytail. So from the dress you can easily guess that he is Chinese. Same with the guy above the top right. He is an Arab and he is wearing a typical Arab dress with a beard and moustache. Right. And then the person on the top left. Now this person is from US. Okay. Now I have not drawn anything special for him because he is an American and they don't have any traditional dress as such. And then now the person on the lower left. This person is from Latin America. As you can see, he is wearing a poncho, okay, trouser and slippers with a headband. And then you have the doctor. Again, from the costume, you can easily identify the profession of the person. Now, this is a tourist which you can easily identify from his floral design t-shirt. And he is wearing a garland with a Bermuda with slip on shoes and a sun hat. He has come to enjoy the sea beach and the sun. So the next one is person from the 17th or 18th century which you can easily guess from the wig he is wearing. Now people from those times they used to wear these kind of dress and the wig. Right. So from the dress also you can tell from which time period the character is. And the next one is this lady. From the dress you can easily guess that she is a superhero character. She is wearing tight costume with gloves and all. Okay, now I'll show you particular character. Now when he is changing his dress or the costume, how his identity is changing along with the perception. Now this is the basic character. So this is the corporate look of the person. He is wearing a suit, carrying a briefcase, and also he has a French beard. He shows that he is going to the office. And a bit busy. Now the next identity will be the caveman. In this particular avatar, he has untidy hair with uncut beard and moustache. He has a club in his hand and a lot of body hair. 
Now from this you can identify that this person is a caveman now. Now the next avatar is the cowboy. Look at the hat, the big moustache, the dress, the waistcoat, the boots and the gun. Everything is matching up and he is looking a typical cowboy, right? And uh, do you think that he is looking a bit like Angel Eyes from the good, bad and ugly movie? I think he is a bit like him. What do you think guys? The last avatar is superhero. Now see how the identity changes totally. Now here he is wearing a helmet, sunglass, okay, the superhero suit, gloves, boots and a cape. Perception and identity of the character changes totally with the change in dress and some accessories. So what you can do is you can also create a character and use different type of dresses to see how the identity of the character changes or to give him a different and new look. I have done it digitally but you can always draw the main character on a paper. Use tracing paper to draw the various outfit of the costumes. So that was about how to design the dress or outfit of your characters. Now as you've seen how the character's identity changes because of the dress or the outfit. So ideally you should try your different types of outfit on a particular character to see how the identity changes. Okay. So that's about it. Hope you have liked the video. If yes then kindly click on the subscribe button below. Share the video with your friends. Write your comments if you want. Okay, so that is about it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.